Russia has recently upgraded their KH-101 cruise missile, widely considered to be their best cruise missile, by nearly doubling the size of its warhead to improve its effectiveness against fortified structures. With considerable deployment in Ukraine and Syria, the recent modifications will enhance its resilience against interception while maximizing the damage it inflicts. Despite these advancements, a Ukrainian defense system managed to intercept a recently manufactured missile. Together with British intelligence, they confirmed that the KH-101 now features a second warhead designed for enhanced fragmentation damage. So, in this video, we'll explore everything we know about the Russian KH-101 stealthy long-range subsonic cruise missile and the implications of the most recent upgrade on the war in Ukraine. Let's dive in. The KH-101 is a Russian air-launched cruise missile, primarily intended for strategic bombing missions and commonly carried by Russia's long-range bomber fleet. It is known for its stealth capabilities, flying at low altitudes to evade radar detection. Developed in the late 1990s by Russia's Tactical Missile Armament Corporation, the KH-101 entered service in 2012, succeeding the Soviet-era KH-55. The Russian Ministry of Defense states a maximum range of 4,500 kilometers, while Western sources suggest a range of no more than 3,000 kilometers. Nonetheless, the missile's high accuracy underscores its critical role in Russia's strategic deterrence arsenal. But just how advanced is this missile? Let's examine its reported specifications. The KH-101 features a streamlined airframe designed for low observability and minimal radar cross-section. With a length of approximately 7.45 meters, a diameter of 0.51 meters, and a wingspan of around 3.1 meters, its stealth features include an airframe engineered to reduce radar cross-section and a low-altitude flight profile. At launch, the missile weighs between 2,300 and 2,400 kilograms and does not require a booster. It uses the momentum from the launching aircraft to achieve initial velocity. The warhead weight is estimated to be between 400 and 450 kilograms. The KH-101 is equipped to carry various payloads, including high explosive, penetrator, and cluster munitions. These payloads are optimized for ground target destruction and underground structures like reinforced concrete bunkers. The cluster munitions warhead disperses smaller sub-munitions over a wider area. While the KH-101 carries a conventional warhead, the KH-102 subvariant is believed to carry a 250 kiloton nuclear payload. Powered by a turbofan engine, the KH-101 achieves a maximum speed of Mach 0.58. Positioned at the missile's rear, the engine draws air through an intake atop the fuselage. The missile can fly at very low altitudes, between 30 to 60 meters, and typically cruises at around 6,000 meters. Its flight endurance is estimated to be around 10 hours. Its advanced guidance and control systems, including inertial and satellite navigation, enable the KH-101 to navigate and strike targets with pinpoint accuracy. Stealth features like a low radar cross-section enhance difficulty in detection and interception. Although its circular error probable remains undisclosed, estimations suggest a CEP of less than 10 meters. But what do we know about the most recent upgrade? Military sources first reported in April the use of an upgraded KH-101 missile with a more powerful warhead. Official Ukrainian reports confirmed this new version among the 17 KH series missiles that were launched by Russia in their most recent attack on May 8. Debris from a downed KH-101 recovered in a farmer's field allowed military researchers, with help from British intelligence, to examine the latest modifications. They concluded that the KH-101 now features a new tandem warhead with an additional 350 kilograms explosive payload, more than doubling its destructive capacity. 
the increased payload was achieved by reducing the fuel tank size, potentially halving its operational range. But the report mentions that the Russian Air Force does not need the longer range to hit all of Ukraine. The secondary warhead enhances fragmentation, making it more effective against non-hardened targets, such as energy infrastructure and airfields, which are critical in Russia's current campaign against Ukraine's energy infrastructure. Other open-source reports also suggest additional upgrades, including flare launchers to decoy heat-seeking missiles, hardened electronics to resist jamming, more sophisticated optics on a modernized gimbal, and better streamlining. However, official reports have not confirmed these enhancements. As we wrap up today's video, what are your thoughts on the KH-101's recent upgrades and their potential impact on the ongoing conflict? Share your opinions in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for the latest defense news and analyses.